Hey y'all, welcome back to Homestead. Today we're going to be doing a day in the life, bringing Dandy in for milking. Hopefully Rowan doesn't bother us too much. Get up the closer work. Stop Rowan. Good job, Nate. So we just got done with the milking and in the summertime we don't have a whole lot of schooling and the schooling we do have we typically do it in the hot hot afternoon kind of time so we're coming out to go collect some flat rocks for the garden and look at this we have a jewelweed jungle over here sorry rooster you want to get out of there anyways all these plants you see here these are all jewelweed plants and jewelweed plants are great because they are the nemesis of poison ivy. So what you can do here with these is you take a little piece off, like a leaf here, and you kind of just smush them up in your hand like this, and it's that kind of almost a little bit slimy, oily stuff that's in them, and that's what gets rid of the poison ivy. And you just rub that on yourself, and then it helps get rid of it. And a lot of times it will take more than just like one treatment. You'll have to do it a couple times, but it works pretty good compared to at least most other things we found. It's the best thing by far. And another thing pretty cool is it normally grows next to poison ivy. So you can just see how Yahweh has created it to combat poison ivy. But you gotta be careful or else when you're coming down getting some jewelry for your dad, let's say, you don't wanna give poison ivy yourself. But hey, at least if you do, you can just grab some jewelry for yourself. And docked yourself up. Now we're going through this jewelweed jungle. And there's thorns in here too. Ah, it's catching my pants. There we go. I made it through. This is the Missouri environment. You got swamp. You got jungle, you got creek. I know, that was kind of a micro swamp. Look at this crayfish we found, it's only got one pincher. <clears throat> grabbing some more moss. Some of the types didn't do so well, so this time we're just grabbing the mosses that did well. Look at these plants Esther found. It almost looks like they're dirty, but no, that's just the color of their leaves. Look at it. That's interesting. Good find, Esther. Thanks.
Okay, we're back home from the creek here, and I just want to show you what's going on right now with this little area. It's doing fairly well, but you can see some of the moss is getting hit by the sun a lot. It's not doing very well. So hopefully in the future we can make this area a little more shady in the garden. But areas where it does not get very much sun, it's doing still great. Over here and stuff. A bit over here, underneath all these plants. So hopefully these new rocks we're putting in can be in an area where it's a little more shady and then hopefully we can shed out this area a little more too. So we're working on putting these rocks down and some these bottoms are uneven so we're kind of having to dig out some spots here so they'll sit down flat. Good job, Nate. Something we do every day is we spend a little bit of time towards what we call the weed war. It is the war against all the weeds in Missouri. So we either just do some weeding in the garden, we do some moss rock pathways or some cement rock pathways, we also do weed eating, burning, all sorts of stuff. So I'm just going to do a little bit of weeding in the garden. I did kind of already do some with the moss rock pathway, but I'm gonna go and do a little more here. So I'm gonna do this little section right here. Cause it's kind of supposed to be pathway, but it's not really pathway right now. Let's turn it back into pathway. That's much better. We have a little garden buddy these days. This little gosling got a little bit injured, so she's been recovering in the garden. Now I'm with Jay Bud coming out here to see if we can collect some wild edibles. Ooh. Mm. Look at them, they're all ripe everywhere in there. And we're also gonna see if we can get some mulberries. Oh, sorry, for those of you who don't know, these are black capped raspberries. They grow wild all over here in Missouri and they're really tasty. Now we're gonna go see what Jay Bud's up to. Them in your hand. It's more back here. Yep. Here you go, Jibbin. Any more? There's a little one.
Well, we only found two mulberries, but look like black cap raspberry just found this one little area. Good eye, Joseph. Yep. So we went to our bigger black cap raspberry patch, and me and Jay Bud picked a nice little harvest of black caps here. Hi, how you doing? Good. Lunch time. Leftover salmon patty and broccoli mixed into some lentil noodles pasta. Yep. <laughs> nice and easy. Esther Pie made it. Getting water from the spring for our burkey. So we ate lunch, did some schooling, and took our afternoon computer break. I watched some YouTube videos and talked with a friend, and now we're gonna do our nighttime chores. Well, that's about all we got for you today. Thanks for watching. We pray blessings over you and yours, and whatever you do, do it with your whole heart.